took like three seasons for them to get together. Seasons of dealing with Gabe. Gabe? <laughs> What's up guys, CJ back once again for Kung Fu Night. It is time for more Office Run Season 9, Episode 15. This one's called Couples Discount? Couples Discount. Last time we had the Vandalism episode. You know what? Patreon link's in the description. Leave your comments below. I'm not going to waste too much time. I'm going to get right into it. Hey, I feel so lucky we're in the same city for Valentine's Day. It's like magic. By the way, they do need an extra day next week. And poof, he disappears. I really want to have fun today because tomorrow is going to be a nightmare. Andy's coming back from his stupid, dumb boat trip. I forgot about rude. that man. <laughs> He's been selfish. I'm breaking up with him. Bam, Andy. How do you like me now? I think that he's gonna. <laughs> oh, she pulls out the frisbee. This is <laughs> this is sure. perfect. Great. Get my coat. Perfect. Andy, hi. I just made another huge sale for the company that you manage. I need you to authorize that expense report and sign off on that contract. <laughs> I really like Andy these days. Andy left a carton of milk. How did this man not get his own show? So I've been sneaking a little bit every day for the last three months. It's oh, been no, yummy. bro. I guess it's goodbye chunky lemon milk. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, I'll say it. Is drinking the spoiled I wish milk out Andy here. had stayed on his trip. Everyone, it is our last day here with no manager. I say we go to the mini mall. Clark, he will be my fake boyfriend so I can get the discount. That's what I do. That is do what it. he does. <laughs> Everyone seems to be pairing off. Do you want to pretend to be a couple so we get the... No. Yes. Yes. Oh, shit. These are gross. They are terrible. I made us lunch reservation at State Street Grill. Oh, my God. That's so romantic. It's with Brian and Alyssa. Oh, my God. That's less romantic. Brian's a great guy, and Pam and I have gotten really close to he and his wife, Alyssa, over the years, and... You got fired for protecting my wife from a jerk in the warehouse? It's pretty cool how they have a lot of this happen behind the scenes and they kind of they kind of can fill a lot of this in here with just a little statement like that. <laughs> what? Your boyfriend. He looked like a pretty girl. And you know what? Now that you are developing, we should go and get you a training bra. <laughs> <laughs> no more discount. Excuse me. Shush. Full price. No. We're not together. Oh, come on. She's living <laughs> a lie. <laughs> Turns out I can't even be in a pretend relationship. <laughs> no discount for two men. Two men are not a couple. We are Jesus, together. This looks very familiar. Doesn't work. No discount. Oh, it works. Oh. <laughs> Him and me. All right. And we're taking our business elsewhere. OK, Daryl. OK, Daryl. Hey, hey Brian. <laughs> Hey. Sword fighting. Sorry this guy. Me. Oh, uh, no problem. I, I finished all the bread. It's uh, <laughs> great to see you guys. Thanks for coming. And I'm really sorry about the job. That just seems crazy. It's fine. What are you going to do? I mean, but if you guys know of any work, I'm fully available. Who's this job? Oh, Potentially losing his relationship. Oh, She's not here. Oh. Where's Alyssa? She's not going to make it today. Hmm. Oh. Um, <laughs> actually, huh. we're not going to make it. Uh, there it is. We're splitting up. There it is. Sign. I called that shit. Well, thank you, Mr. Rinkin' it. Do, do, do. <laughs> Hi, Dwight. Whoa! Back. Holy shit. This man wrapped his way all the way back, too, or what? <laughs> well, 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 look who it is. Andy. I guess I can cancel my order from Zappos.com because, oh, the loafers have arrived. I have missed you so much. Yes. Oh. Welcome back, buddy. <laughs> I am really, really bad at breakups. What happened? We thought you were coming back tomorrow. Well, Valentine's surprise for Aaron. Hello, super romantic. Something. Didn't think about oh, that. Oh, a couple of peas are musical instruments. It's so we can play island music together. I mean, I came back early to surprise Aaron. Happy Valentine's Day, sweetheart. But I'm just saying, I'm also excited about the Wallace meeting. <laughs> Why? Isn't he just coming in to rip you a new one for being gone three months? Wallace does know that you've been gone for the last three months? I have no idea. I don't know what he knows or doesn't know. We were telling two different versions of the same story and then everything just went numb. When we were fighting, it weirdly felt like the relationship was still alive and it wasn't until we stopped fighting that we realized it was over. Uh, we have to find a different way to communicate other than breaking down in front of each other. 
Yeah. What? At least my crying won't get you fired. Oh, crying? that's Wait, that's how account. he sees it. That is couldn't help but notice that you offered a price point that was not approved by the head office. Okay, the issue is that you need to run this stuff by me. Coolio, <laughs> are we Coolio? <laughs> Just say the word coolio. I'm not gonna say it. Just gonna call the Scranton White Pages and clear this right up. Don't you dare, Andy. Mm. Coolio. Seriously, you're calling me a few weeks after finalizing our contract to gouge me now for more money? Is that what you're doing? There is an option in the contract that allows me to back out within 30 days of signing. So I would like sale. to exercise that option. Candy, you suck. Oh. How's this man's story gonna go? He wasn't happy at all last season. Or was it, no, that was this season. Be a massive upheaval of his character. And he loses the biggest sale this branch has ever seen. Do you have any idea what I had to do to get that sale from Jan? He just waltzes back in here like he owns the junky lemon milk, right? <laughs> do. I'd like to rat out Andy, but unfortunately, I have a bit of a boy who cried wolf dynamic with David Wallace. The state he's in, Wallace will take one look at him and probably fire him anyway. What's going on in here, dirty players? Dude got cleaned up quick. Let's get back the to the hair. This is a rides. weird look. Who's that girl? Who's that girl? It's Andy. This man actually sang the new girl theme song out here? Is that going up? What year is it? What year is it? <laughs> I thought that was a little weird. It was, and he didn't know Tony about Brian it. Brian got fired for the whole warehouse thing. And you intentionally left out a kind of major intimate detail. That'd be correct. I didn't tell you about the crying because I didn't want you to know how upset I was. Because I it would have stressed you out. And you're always saying how much you don't want more stress. And to be honest, I probably don't have any reason to be mad at all because I wasn't there. So let's just forget about it. I need you guys to tell me all the highlights from the last three months in case David asks. Just a few things I could sprinkle into conversation. Hey guys. Hey, David. How are you? Ah, oh, we were just having our weekly round table where we motivate <laughs> weekly each round other. Table. Whatever you guys have been doing this last quarter, I couldn't be happier with the numbers. Thank you. Well, finish up. I'm going to meet with Val about that warehouse guy you had to let go, and you and I will talk in 15 minutes. You know, Pam's mural? Well, Frank lit he... the whole thing on fire. Fire department was here, it was in all the papers. Whoa. We started selling balloons. What? Yeah. And uh, Kathy Ireland signed on as the official spokesbabe of Dunder Mifflin. Good, good. Yeah. What else? Who knew the balloon game would Everyone's be so lucrative? Like Thank God, right? We needed the income after the fire. Aren't you just down there? It's like burnt to ashes. It looked fine to me. Metaphorically, of course. Thanks, Andy. Thank you. What a mess. What a mess. What you gonna do? <laughs> I don't love you anymore. What? I still like you, but you were gone a really long time and you didn't really email me all that much. You're unhappy. I've been gone a long time and we lost Three a months. little bit of juju, but you and me, we have a future. There is a <laughs> lot of love about, bro? We're just out of sync right now. You may not be feeling love for me right now, but if you fake it, I won't be able to tell the difference. You really think we can get that back? Yes. Come on. Totally. Uh, as weird as it sounds, like I mean, I'd be fine if they broke up. I get it. I'm so out on Andy right now. Cancel that bottle of wine tonight. Or drop me at the bus station. Are you Word? sure? I just feel like we're gonna fight. Motherfucker said. Brian said, so, like when the when the fighting stops. Happy Valentine's Day. Sorry, I, I didn't have time to wrap it. I didn't know you kept this. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I think that you should stay, and I think we should fight. All right, put your dukes up, Beasley. Are you okay? I couldn't do it. Oh, I just want you to be happy, okay? <laughs> oh, well, that complicates things a little bit. We're done. We're breaking up. David. Still here. Happened. <laughs> what was that about three months? Oh. <laughs> it just keeps getting better and better and better. Great episode here with 
What's it called? Couples Discount. Really good episode with Couples Discount here. Aaron and Andy are done. Bomb has been dropped. Expected. Needed to happen. Um, if you look at it with a practical sense. We... It's sad because we, we we put so much work in to get them two together. Finally happens last season, end of last season. It took like three seasons for them to get together. Seasons of dealing with Gabe. Gabe? <laughs> <laughs> seasons of dealing with Gabe. And they finally get together, but... The whoever's where the whoever the fuck was running NBC fucked this up. Okay, it is what it is at this point. Needed to happen. Andy has a new look. He has the long hair. The cat's out of the bag with him being gone for three months. David Wallace knows, and then he's looking at the situation at Scranton, and he's like, "What a mess! What a mess! <laughs> what you gonna do?" <laughs> oh man. But anyways, um. This is a spicy story. The spicy has all the cayenne, all the paprika. It's just, it's spicy. It's great. It's good. Aaron just kissed another man. Um, what's his name again? Aaron kissed some dude. <laughs> He's happy. She is with someone who wants her to be happy. Win win. That's cut and dry. That that is what it is. Uh, called it that Aaron would be the one to reveal it. Cool. Uh. Jim and Pam are having a fight tonight on Valentine's Day uh, with a little bit of wine, I think. Um, it's got to happen. You got to talk it out. You got to fight, you know. Uh, you don't want to end up like Brian. You don't, you don't want to end up in the same situation as Brian, okay? I still want to give all the kudos to uh, Greg Daniels for him to be able to gener generate history within a story out of nothing. You convey things that have been fact for... A number of years and it makes sense it isn't questioned and it, and it and it works um i'm talking about jim and pam knowing of brian and Alyssa, their relationship and how they have been uh in addition to there was one other case that i can't quite remember but that that's again prime writing great great story here this episode uh, Phyllis is, uh, kind of a sly little bitch, I must say. Uh, <laughs> we've seen many inklings of this, but again, here she, uh, brought up the couple's discount ideas specifically for thinking about herself with her and Bob Vance. Um, and, uh, she just throws a lot of shade. <laughs> she throws a lot of shade. Um, what else? I think that is it. Also, Andy fucking quoted New Girl. All right, so New Girl came out uh, September 20th, 2011. And the season of The Office was released in 2012. So uh, New Girl would have been out um, for one season. Maybe the second would have been out. Uh, they, they gained quite a bit of uh, popularity and traction really quickly. Um, and and, and that, 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 that says so much. That, I think that says so much about New Girl as a show for... A titan of a show like The Office, who's on its last season, who's 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 been um, one of the most popular shows out there uh, during this time and to this day, for them to be able to quote and give mad shout outs to this show that's been out just for one or two seasons, um, like New Girl, okay? If you haven't watched New Girl, go watch it. Um, I love the fact that that happened. Um, and... I am sad I didn't watch The Office originally whenever it came out because, you know, uh, the, the humor, there's a sense of awkward humor that can be found in The Office, same as New Girl. But if I would have watched it back then, uh, I wouldn't be here with all of you watching it now. And I'm grateful to be here doing this, so. Uh, but if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, share, and subscribe. Links in the description uh, for Patreon tiers. Leave your comments below. And I will catch you next time. Peace.